So we'll, we'll first work some form shooting, which Joe is showing right now. We're just getting close to the basket, working on your follow through. Uh, again, I can't emphasize enough to be close to the basket for you younger guys as you build your shot, build your strength. Uh, starting with form, sh form shooting, you're trying to switch it every time. This one may not look like a real exciting drill or super fun drill, but it really builds uh, just that touch around the basket and that follow through and just good form practicing. You're close enough to the basket that you should have good form every time, trying to get that muscle memory. You can also go to the side of the basket. Again, make it, make it your goal as you get better at this. Try to switch it every time, get follow through. I would highly recommend that when you first come out, uh, even before you start a workout, before you start working on some dribbling stuff, before you start working on uh, ball handling, you, when you first come out, I would not go out to the three-point line and just start shooting shots. I would get in the basket area, uh, work form shooting, work around the basket, uh, work free throws, get those type of shots early on and build that confidence and build your muscle memory. All right, next we're gonna go into uh, what we call off the backboard catches and finishes. This does not have to be just for post players, people finish around the basket. We all have a chance to finish inside. So Joe's just gonna throw it to himself, off the backboard, catch, get into a power position, put the ball on his shoulder there, and he's gonna go right back up and finish. Bring it down, right it down. Go ahead and, yep, just throw it right to yourself. This might be off of an offensive rebound, put it right back up and in. Go ahead and go right side, go uh, Right side, and go left hand shots. Right back up with it. Go ahead, mix and pump fake this time. You can mix and pump fakes. Uh, right side, one pump fake here. Alright, next one we move into. Do a lot in the off season. We'll do it from time to time in the in season as well. We call them mic ins. You maybe have heard of those before. We'll start out with regular mic ins. Again, the goal on this is to go as quick as you can. <clears throat> Let's start off with one foot, Joe. He'll go uh, off his left foot and off his right foot. Uh, he's going to try to keep the ball above his shoulders. Again, younger guys, as you build your strength, you might not be able to do that right at first. So that's something you, you build into. Uh, but mic ins. I would say on the mic ins, 30 to 45 seconds at a time is a great time for that. Uh, a lot of times we'll go mic ins for 30 or 45 seconds and have a partner that's doing ball handling drills at the same time. And then they switch. Okay, let's stop there. Here's off two feet. Yeah, you younger guys, as you build your strength, uh, this is a big one. Think better here. Okay, so let's show uh, reverse. It's to be reverse, Mike. It's now you're facing out. We'll go one foot. This is going to really work your reverse layups. He's making it look easy, but it takes a little while to get used to these here. And then one more time, let's go off two feet. Mike is off two feet, reverse. This is catch. Try to catch that thing right out of the net and right up. Two more. 